What's up, y'all? Welcome to the greatest, latest, baddest, maddest show of shows, pigskin facts, history and news. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. What's up, y'all? Skins Nation. Once again, I am your host of hosts, Fred Watson Jr. Back, 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 back with the new show. So much has happened since we last let off since we last saw each other and um i tell you get on the bandwagon it's it's been a it's been a speeding bandwagon for the washington redskins it's all season so much is going on a lot of changes were made of course we got a new coach front office a lot of changes are made in the front office um just to get caught up on where we last left off josh cornerback josh norman released Tight end Jordan Reed uh, was cleared from concussion protocol. He was released. Paul Richardson, released. So the Redskins have saved up about $64 million in cap space. Um, they were trying to figure out what they were going to do with Ryan Kerrigan, but it looks like Ryan Kerrigan, um, from the words of Coach Ron Rivera, will be in the Redskins' plans. For the 2020 season, so they will retain him. Trent Williams uh, has still been in talks with uh, head coach Ron Rivera, and basically, it's it's more about money. The talks have been good, positive, but the talks have been more about money. And I believe he might be asking for a high price. I don't know, maybe like 20 million. But you know the Redskins are not going to give this man this much. He hasn't played in a whole year. We don't know where he is uh, health-wise or whatever. And the draft is coming up soon. And the thing about it is the Redskins had a chance to trade Trent Williams. And there were teams that were asking for him. But they're not asking for him now. So just might have to wait until after the draft is over. Um to see what happens with that because there's a lot of offensive tackles, left tackles coming out in the draft. You know, these guys are 20, 21, 22, 23 years old, young guys that are hungry that want to play pro ball. So, I mean, you know, Trent Williams might just have to be put on hold for right now. Um, another issue that's in the storylines is um, coach Rivera is wanting to have a meeting with uh, quarterback Joe Burrow from the LSU Tigers and Tua from the Alabama Crimson Tide. So I don't know if he's sold on quarterback Dwayne Haskins. He likes quarterback Dwayne Haskins, but I don't know if he's sold on him as far as him being the man or him being the starter. And he wants competition. So we could be very likely watching the scenario like the Arizona Cardinals, they they a couple years ago drafted quarterback Josh Rosen out of uh, UCLA. And then last year, Kyler Murray was the number one pick in the NFL draft and they drafted him. And what did they do? They traded off Josh Rosen and Kyler Murray was more of a fit for them for their quarterback of the future. So who knows? Ron Rivera could be who knows who could be taking that faint same Arizona Cardinals philosophy and maybe think about drafting Tua. But you, as you all know, Tua uh, hip was broken um, in a game against Ole Miss last season. And uh, he's still recovering. So who's to know that if they draft him, who's to know if he's going to be ready to play um, come training camp or, you know, start then before the season starts to participate then? Who knows? Um, but he could be very well looking at it like, you know, we might bring in another quarterback and, and get some high competition. And whoever whoever wins out, wins out. And whoever doesn't has got to go. We'll get traded. But um, I don't know. I just that was something that Mel Kuyper was saying. The, um, you know, the football analyst, uh, Mel Kuyper, he was saying that, you know, um, he did make a good point. He was saying, you know, in the NFC East, you know, you got Carson Wentz. On the Philadelphia Eagles, you got Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, and you, now you got Daniel Jones 
Uh, Eli Manning, Manning is retired. Daniel Jones is taking over as his quarterback of the future for the Giants. And the good point that he did make was the Redskins are going to need a solid quarterback that's going to be able to compete with these other guys in the NFC East if they're going to do anything. And um, I agree with that. I agree with that. But where I disagree is you got the top football prospect coming out in the draft. And that's defensive end Chase Young. And Chase Young has already said in the NFL Combine in an interview, he's not participating in the Combine. But he did say, you know what, it would be a blessing to play for the Redskins. Um, he was asked a few questions. He's from this area. He went to DeMatha High in college. Went to, of course, he's coming out of Ohio State. And they're saying that he's even a better prospect than um, defensive end Nick Bosa on the San Francisco 49ers is. And look at Bosa. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year last year. So, hey, you know. Um, but with all that said, I don't think that the Redskins should pass on a generational talent like Chase Young. I think they, they need to go and draft him and uh, solidify that, that defense. And if Dwayne Haskins doesn't pan out this year, then, you know, you, there, I'm sure there's other options as far as quarterback to bring in another quarterback and, and do the doggone thing there. But I, I honestly think that they should not give up the number two pick to anybody. Um, I, you know, and I don't think that they should forego um, overpass Chase Young right now for a quarterback. Give Dwayne Haskins a chance. This is only his second year. Now, new system is coming in. I mean, give the guy a chance. He was a rookie last year. He only played in, uh, what, eight, nine games, I think. So give this guy a chance. Don't rule him out just yet. Look at look at the quarterbacks that are that are that are Hall of Famers uh, or future Hall of Famers. Or they probably I guess they are Hall of Famers. Peyton Manning, um, soon to be a Hall of Famer. Uh Peyton Manning, when he first started, he wasn't all that good. Look how he turned his career turned out. Drew Brees didn't do all that well. Look at him. He's on his way to the Pro Bowl. Um, who else? Troy Aikman got off to a rocky start as a rookie, and it didn't seem like that he was going to go anywhere. Hall of Famer. So who's to say with Dwayne Haskins? Don't don't rule this kid out just yet. Give him a chance. Um, but they do. I think they do need to. They they need to trade up. They need to get not trade up, but they need to draft Chase Young and be done with that. So, um, I don't know. The NFL Combine has started and uh, getting off to a pretty good start. Really don't have anything really to report right now, but the Redskins are looking at a lot of players very closely and um, just doing a short segment this time. I'll come back with another longer one, but just wanted to touch bases with my subscribers. I know it's been a while. I apologize. I'm back now and uh, it's great to be on here again. And um, hail to the skins. Hail nation. Hail to the skins. With that said, that concludes another episode of Pigskin Facts, History, and News. I am your host of hosts, Fred Watson Jr. We'll see y'all next time. Signing off.